Hey Sexy, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at spa excess in my home city of Toronto. We'll look at everything from the location to the staff, the amenities and the clientele and make sure you stay till the end of this video. I'll be sharing my pros and cons list with you and my final rating for spa excess given out of five eggplants. And to hear about my escapades at spa excess, all the stories are on my OnlyFans page. The link is in the description below. Now, my time at Spa Access was a little bit special because I actually got to sit down with the owner, Robert, to get the skinny on this Toronto staple. So Robert, who's the former owner of Pegasus on Church Street, opened Spa Access 23 years ago. 23 years is a long time for any business to be around, especially a bathhouse. Back in the day, can you believe there were nine bathhouses in Toronto? And today there are only like 2.5. When I asked him why he thought Spa Access survived this like sauna Armageddon, he told me it was about customer service. So I decided to check it out for myself and see what all the fuss is about. Will its reputation for cleanliness and amazing customer service live up to its reputation? Let's go find out. Let's start with location. The location of Spa Access is very, very central. It is adjacent to the gay village, easy to get to, whether you're taking public transportation, you're riding your bike, you're walking, you're running, you're flying, but it's so innocuous from the outside. So if you're kind of on the DL or you don't want everybody and their grandmother knowing that you're coming and going from spa access on a regular basis that's okay because from the outside wouldn't even know that it's there all right let's talk about the hours of operation spa access is open always it never a closing so it doesn't matter whenever you are ready to visit spa access it is open for you to enjoy and now we get to the price of admission as you can see here there are endless options when you join them at spa access you can do anything from a locker to a basic room to suites the thing with the choices though are the prices they are toronto prices which means they're high not necessarily going to be a cheap visit, especially if you go often, which if you do, it probably would behoove you. Wow, I used the word behoove. It would probably behoove you to get a membership of some kind to save money if you're going to go on a regular basis. Okay, let's talk about the staff. The staff at the front were so friendly. They were smiling. They These guys had big personalities it seemed like they wanted to be there and that they were actually having a good time being at work now staff wise you have of course the guys at the front desk then you have these sexy bartenders who are bustling around with like assless undies and jocks they were friendly they were chatting with the clients they were dressed provocatively now if you like sexy bartenders then give this video a like so that YouTube knows to share it with more people. Let's talk about the lay of the land. <laughs> walk up a short flight of stairs and then you check in at the front desk. After you do that, you walk down a little hall and then there's gonna be a lounge slash bar on the right. And you walk into this really sizable bar. Like this could actually be a bar on itself. Like you could take this bar out of the sauna <laughs> and just plunk it anywhere on Church Street as just a gay bar that people would go to, and they would. You walk in, there's like a big TV, couches, there's a display case with full of sex things for sale. There's high top tables that are like strewn about the room. There's a full bar. There's a pool table at the front end where you can play pool. Now the mood in the bar is very, very social. You could go to the bar at Spa Access and not even access the bathhouse. It, it wouldn't even matter because you would have like a fun time with your friends. Now, when you leave the bar area across the hall from that, you go through the doorway, that's where you're gonna find uh, the showers. The showers, the dry sauna, the wet sauna, and the jacuzzi. So when you first walk in, there's the wooden door and then you've got your dry sauna in there, which is a very nice sign. Then beside that, you've got the showers. Of course, the showers are open so everybody can see each other like showering. You've got the shower room and then you've got a glass wall that's all steamy and there's a door. So you open it and there's the wet sauna. So you sit in the steam room looking into the shower room, which is 
very nice because you can watch people coming and go. It's the perfect place to sit and people watch. Also, you have to walk through the shower room and then down some stairs to get to the jacuzzi room, which is a sizable jacuzzi in a sizable room with TVs playing porn. Now this is the main floor. So at the back of the main floor, there's actually stairs going down. And downstairs you're gonna find there's a gym with lockers. There's like machines, there's free weights. Uh, lockers surrounding the room, TVs playing porn. Also down there is something very interesting. Two private bathroom slash douching stations, but like completely private. Doors that close and lock at rooms with a toilet, a douching station, a sink, a shower, like it's fully equipped. And then for some reason there's a payphone downstairs. Who uses payphones? So from the main floor, you walk up a flight of stairs and you're on the second floor. So on this floor, you've got rooms. Some of them have glory holes that are built into the door, which is super cool. Literally, there's a little hole in the door. You just open the latch and <laughs> have fun. Some of the rooms also, I should mention, have a window, like what mine had a window too, so I could just open the curtains and put on a show. There's also a locker room on that floor, just a big room with lockers. Then on the third floor, there are more lockers, there's more rooms obviously, rooms with the glory holes, and on the floors there's different types of rooms. There's, you know, the basic rooms with the beds, there's TV rooms, there's sling rooms. There's one suite that has its own bathroom within the suite, so if you're staying for maybe a longer period of time, this might be a good choice for you. The room that they gave me was a beautiful room. It was big, it had the glory hole in the door, it had a locker, a table, a chair. Actually, it felt like a hotel room because it even had like a, a, a bedside table and a lamp. <laughs> like it felt very like, oh, I'm staying at a hotel. But most importantly, on the third floor is where you find the dark room slash maze. This maze, has a lot of really unique features that I've never seen at other bathhouses. Namely, the two-way mirrors. Now they've got two of them in this maze. Showers, they're open, and at crotch level, there's a like a two-way mirror. So you're showering in there, and people on the other side of that, in the dark maze, are like watching you shower, well, watching your crotch shower. And then another two-way mirror situation from the maze. You can sit in the maze and watch. They're literally relieving their se themselves in this like trough. And they have the classic like glory hole trough, I'm gonna call it, like where you can walk up steps and then, and then there's holes and you can stick it through and people are standing below and then they're at like watch level. So they have one of those, which is great. Then on the back of it, there's like this whole TV area with like, which felt really cool too. It was very like almost artistic. Like it felt like an art installation. There was like TVs everywhere. And then these like blocks, like cubes that you can like climb up and sit on and like, perform or just watch. Adjacent to that, you've got one of those like crosses and then you've got the sling. Upstairs from that, you go up, you open the door and you're outside. Now, I didn't go outside this time because it was freezing. Because I live in Canada and in March it's frozen. I was in a towel, I'm not gonna go upstairs, I'm not gonna go outside. I have been there years ago uh, during the summer, I went up there. Big space, seating, lots of room to like hang out. As for the clientele. Clientele is always gonna be subjective. It's always gonna depend on what you're looking for, what you're into. There was a lot of different ethnicities, which is nice because there's a lot of choices. And I did find that it was a bit uh, more on the mature side. So if you are into more mature men, or you like the variety of a lot of different ethnicities, then spa access is definitely one for you. All right, let's go through some pros and cons. Pro number one, the sense of community was really infectious. When I go to these places, I like them to be darker and more anonymous, but they set it up in such a way and I found myself talking with people and being very social and really allowing myself to have that experience. Pro number two, it is super clean at Spa Access and newly renovated. During COVID, they took the opportunity to renovate, so everything is new. You can tell by the doors and the, the finishings, and everything is super 
clean. Like, you could eat off the floor. <laughs> and pro number three, there are multiple floors of fun and they have every amenity you can imagine. Could be a pro, could be a con, depending on if you have a bad knee. As for cons, the only thing I'm gonna say for cons would be if the clientele is not what you're looking for, then that would be a con for you. So, for my final rating of Spa Access Toronto, I'm gonna give them a, and this is the first time I'm doing this, a five out of five eggplants. Congratulations, Spa Access, for the first one, and I'll tell you why I'm giving them five out of five. Even though there are things that I don't necessarily look for in a sauna, they sold me on the idea. They achieved what they wanted to achieve. They achieved what they set out to achieve. And then I got pulled in and sucked in and then convinced and then had a great time being a part of that community. So for them to sort of flip me and bring me in and succeed in changing my mind in one night, I have to give them a five out of five. Now, if you liked this review and you like sauna reviews, you are gonna love my review of sauna cruising in Colombia. Check it out. You will not be disappointed. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah!